So you mean to say that you, the county medical examiner's office, doesn't have a copy of my brother's death certificate? autopsy performed. Time and dates of the death certificate are not matching. You have a lot of misinformation on both the police report and the death certificate and the coroner's report. So you have these questions that I just would like an answer to the question. So in 2002, there was a glimmer of hope. The grand jury came back with a determination of inconclusive as to whether or not Keith put himself on the tree. The goal of getting this case reclassified and a death certificate updated. So my mom and her team then wrote a petition to the medical examiner's office, to Dr. Fowler, and Fowler's office never even acknowledged it. You all, as the medical examiner office, wouldn't have any type of information about his death then. I'd have to go back to the vi state vital records. And, but the police have directed me to you, and they're telling me that I have to talk to the medical examiner's office in, in order to start the process of getting a death certificate changed. So now you're telling me that I have to go back to the police. Every part of the justice system in Montgomery County has either overtly or secretly worked against my family and give us some answers in regards to Keith's death. From the medical examiner's office, to the state's attorney's office, to the governor's office, to the DA's office, to the legislator's office, you name the office, they have worked to not reveal what's going on with Keith's case. 